Hello you wonderful people. I'm Marvel Alexa and let's do more Fall Guys. Dizzy hype. Pretty good to have as a, as a opening round. Always glad to see a Dizzy Heights. Okay, so we want to go left on the platforms. There is a Yeetus at the end. Um, one of the things I did think about during the last episode is that, um, despite switching up the, um, the costume, it keep the same victory celebration, the, doing the robot. And that celebration is usually, like, I've usually uh, kind of reserved that for when I'm playing as Party Parrot. Like, my usual celebration is the, um, the, the Jack in the Box celebration that you um, unlock for having got to the end of the seasonal unlock path in Season 1. And I'm not sure whether to whether to change it. I mean, we've already uh, not the best eat ever, but not the worst. I think that's uh, going to be a gold medal, though. But yeah, we've already um already had one episode where the mammoth has done the robot twice. So um yeah, don't know about changing it now. I mean, the one I kind of, um, yeah, yeah, it was a gold medal. The one I do kind of want to see is the, um, the Z-Snap celebration. Or Z-Snap. Um. I think that was, like, one of the, um, limited time featured items during Season 1, but a lot of the, um, a lot of the limited, um, limited run featured items from Season 1 have since appeared in the regular items shop for Season 2. Like, uh, just looking over the, the crowd there, there's a guy in a, in a bullet costume. Which I think is like a, an Enter the Gungeon crossover costume, and that was uh, originally a limited time thing. But it appeared in the shop for me today. So... I do hope that that celebration is going to appear at some point. That's uh, oh, this is awkward. Um, you, what are you? That is really not chill of you, Party Parrot. Yeah, almost got them. But yeah, I mean, other than that, other than that, the other op options for celebration I have, I've got the, uh, the one where you get knocked off the plinth by the crown flying at you, and I've got the um, the magician one that you unlock. Uh, reaching the end of the seasonal unlocks in season two, but I don't really kind of like that one. I think it takes too long. It's been kind of obnoxious to watch it when um, when other people win, and you have to watch the whole animation of them slowly floating up towards the sky. I mean, they're all kind of slightly obnoxious in a way, because like. The whole thing of seeing someone who's not you celebrating their win, you know? But, um... I don't know. At least with the, um, like the Jack in the Box one. People who aren't me, who, um, watch my victory celebration get to see me launched off into space. 
No, God damn it. I think, like, the, the robot one is the only... It's the only one of the options I have that doesn't end with something bad happening to your character. Seems to be um, a fairly slow round happening here, which I have to assume is because um, all the goldies kind of spawned in kind of inconvenient spaces for a lot of people. But we're through anyway. So who do we root for? <laughs> oh my god, awesome blue master. Um, mighty bumbling sidekick maybe? Balanced Bouncing Gal is a pretty good name. There's um, a decent chance that they do make it. More than a decent chance now. Although the last, um, the last few qualifications on this round can go very quickly. Because of course people have been accumulating the score throughout the entire round. Okay, onwards and upwards. Our next round will be... a rock and roll. It seems pretty standard. No bollards on the top, no hammers on the bottom. Just a straight pushing match. So how good is this team at pushing? Not bad it seems, not bad at all. I'm gonna dislodge it from the side there. Um, guys, <laughs> is there a guy just, just in the way? Oh my goodness. Well, despite that whole fiasco, we are first down. Uh, we do have a blue here being a jerk, so that's, um, okay, he seems to have given up, but just in case they haven't. Yeah. I don't think anyone's stopping that. Gave us um gave us the correct medal for once. Yeah, I'm still kind of unable to determine when when the incorrect medals actually get given out for rock and roll. Kind of seems to happen more often than it doesn't. But I don't know like um what makes it do that. But anyway, we've got a hexagon as the final round. Do love me a good hexagon. Got a few options at the top, but uh, no round of hexagon was ever won or lost on these. So we don't sweat it too much. Hello, bullet. My, my quarrel is not with you. 
Although I do seem to have kind of inadvertently killed you. Well, now you've done. Um, now we're even, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, 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 that's not good. It's just the worst luck. Well, we're down here alone. Let's ruin. We do the running that takes out two, um, two rows of tiles at once. Kind of, um, hope we've created our own little island over here. And if not, there's still room to dive over that gap. Uh, not if that guy's smart, though. Uh. Okay. Um. To be perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea what happened there. But I am a little rattled from it. actually have to run. Yeah, I think escaping that area was our only hope and, and um, that bullet kind of realized it. Because you don't want to be stuck on that little um, platform with two other people, although it doesn't seem to have worked out too badly for this witch, but um, like the other two just have so much more room to maneuver. Yeah, there, there was no hope for them at the end there. So, um... That was kind of an infuriating round of uh, Hexagon. Getting smacked down multiple layers by just the worst possible luck, and... I don't even know what happened in the middle. We just, um... Just fell. Just refused to jump. And I... Just can't explain it. But we'll try to do better next time. Alright, we've got another dizzy hype up first. And we have a variety with the thick bonkers on the moving platforms bit. Uh, kind of looks like we want to go right on that section. Due to the direction that the final platform is moving. But um, when you have the thick bonkers there, don't always get your way. Okay, um, not the cleanest first section, but, okay, just, um, have a little weird stumble when you hit the floor there, just dive through there. Not really enough time to duck between the bits. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, yep. Yep, yeah, saw that one coming a mile away. I still, like, um, I don't know if going... Like an extra turn around on that spinny platform would have been um, more beneficial. Like obviously that would have lost time as well. Don't know what would have lost more time. It's not something I particularly care too much about to um, the workshop. <laughs> Like, if that's the difference between you um, qualifying from this round and not qualifying from this round, you've probably got other problems. See what's up second.
think I do kind of want another go at the um, lethal perfect match. I mean, if it only shows up once and we died such an embarrassing death on it, kind of want to avenge that. You know, give an impression of how that game, uh, how the game usually goes. Uh, mainly because, you know, I looked like an idiot last time and I don't like looking like an idiot. I mean, because I already sound like an idiot most of the time. Oh yeah, that was a very good round. No one anywhere near. Easy gold medal. I think we did see coming up second, um... Behind was the cat robot. Not too surprising because that's one that, um... One of those, uh... Legendary limited time... Game tie-in skins that, uh... Costs five crowns for the top, five crowns for the bottom. So generally, if you see someone... Like, also, this Godzilla also cost uh, five crowns top, five crowns bottom. So you generally, when you see someone in those costumes, you generally know or can expect that they're pretty good at the game. I mean, there's been, like... Over 20 crowns available just on the regular seasonal unlock this uh, this time, but still, like, that's still a pretty limited supply that um, that you wouldn't want to just throw away on anything. I don't actually know how much um, the customization options I currently have equipped cost. I know the, um, the green parrot was a very expensive one in terms of kudos. It was like 11,000. Uh, because it's like a, a legendary skin. I don't know how much the flower pot costs, I don't know how much swirly sleeves or the, um, the colour scheme cost. I think generally faceplates, different colour ones cost like one or two usually. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's far from the worst lag grab I've ever seen, but... Doesn't stop it being mildly annoying, does it? Game, game, game. You even showed the animation of me pulling that pink bean backwards. <laughs> What's the dealio? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, alright then. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was the moment I just wouldn't have expected them to grab it at all, but okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do, just walk off the edge like an idiot. And escaped with the hammer. Perfect crime. <laughs>
Yeah, normally I'd be trying more um, dive grabs there. But um, with the whole people reporting them not working anymore, I'm not sure if I should or not. I mean, eventually I'm probably going to have to do some actual testing to see if um, see if I can get them to work. Because if they still do and I'm just avoiding them for no reason, that's putting myself at a big unnecessary disadvantage. Okay, aiming the camera up. Okay, so this isn't going too badly. But, um, you know, famous last words and all that. Okay, yeah, that, that that dive did not save us any time. In fact, it lost us time. But, you know, it didn't stop the qualification, did it? Okay then, finish with another jump showdown. And we can only hope that we do not have any grabby jerks. Last one, last one went very well. And everyone's nice and polite. Jump Showdown's a very cool game. Don't get, don't get sarcastically clap me. Ooh. You total jerk. I don't think that was like an in out of malice or anything, but the, the knocking me in midair did kind of suck. And yeah, we were right to get off that platform because it is the next one to go. Can I please, please jump without slipping for absolutely no... Oh my Christ. Alright, we've gone to a platform with a grabby jerk. I went over here because it was less crowded, but I had no idea. You would be like this. And you've not grabbed since. Doesn't really mean anything though. Well, I don't need to think about that anymore, do I? You love to see it. Now it's me on my own platform versus that skeleton bean on their own platform. things that does frequently happen on jump showdowns is like it kind of looked like the bar hit him there but um a lot of that can be kind of like um not displaying exactly what's really happening in the world it's like weird little desync things so often they're not doing anywhere near as badly as they look Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> going under the big bar there was not the right move, but we didn't die, so uh, that does make it at least kind of right.
Yeah, let's do another one. Okay, a hit parade. It's alright. Actually, you know what I've not seen in a while? A good whirly gig. A little whirly gig opening round would be nice. Okay, from just the bit that it's showing here, it looks fairly standard. And from what I can see in the front, it also looks fairly standard. It's got the standard pendulums swinging the standard direction with the standard bollards on the slime ramp at the end. Oh my goodness. Like, I really just like people who go to the outside here and kind of, um, oh, well, <laughs> you've prevented me going through that time, but yeah. Um, people go to the outside in that section and end up uh, pushing the spinning doors the other way. It's like, obviously they're going to lose in terms of the amount of force generated from the majority of people going to the other side, but they do still stop the momentum of the spinning doors a lot more than I would like. So it slows everyone down. But the thing is, I think um, if you can kind of slide between the gaps there, it, going on the outside is slightly faster. But, um, yeah, you just, you do risk slowing slowing everyone else down and them slowing you down if they do push you the opposite direction. And, um, yeah, don't really want to be the person who ruined the races for the majority of people who did it right, do you? Well, if anything, playing this game over the last few months has taught me that actually, yeah, quite a lot of people do want that, but I don't anyway. Way, damn it. Okay, seems to be just this pigeon ahead of us. Okay, not anymore though. And um, once again, not very surprisingly, we do have a cat robo robot out front. Well, not anymore, now it's me. But yeah, that's... um. Again, the cat robots do often have to look out for them. I do like the fact that the pigeon came second, though. Like pigeons, one of those um, one of those costumes that's often associated with uh, people who are new at the game, uh, because it was very, I think it was very early in the unlocks for season one. It was one of the one of the first. Uh, Proper costumes a lot of people got. Same with the um, the pink wolf hat. And of course, um, some of these basic beans as well. And there's uh, three basic beans with the same uh, with the same paint job. Makes me think there's a chance they could all be in a party together. I do like it when you um, seem to stumble your way into lobbies that have their own dress codes. I 
I mean, partly, um, one of the things that you see almost all the time is, um, a large number of people with, uh, the latest limited availability items. Like, going back to that cat robot again, like, um, when that was first available, like, uh, everyone who's tryhardy enough to get 10, um, 10 crowns, basically everyone buys it, everyone wears it. After a while, the amount that you see kind of um, declines uh, in favor of the next big limited release thing. Like, I've bought a number of them, uh, a number of those costumes, but not used them. Like, you don't want to be a cat robot or a Sonic when, like, 10 people in a lobby are also cat robots or Sonics. Okay, rock and roll with 10 person teams. Do this. Now, it seems all those um, striped basic beans are on the team together, which does kind of um, further the idea that they're all in the same lobby together as friends. Because it does. Um, it does put friends in the same teams all the time. And these guys aren't necessarily the best at this, but... You know, can't fault their hustle. <laughs> Out the way, out the way. No, don't push it towards the one hitting it that way. Oh, why, um, we're in trouble here. <laughs> okay, that's positive. That's positive. Okay, now soon all the red people will disappear. There we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And we're through. <laughs> and we get the, the uh, customary gold medal for finishing second. Okay then, I'm doing another tail tag. Will this be the round in which I find out for sure whether the, di the dive grabs work or not? Now instead of the hammer we have a double spoked worthy gig in the middle. I mean, it's a variation I guess. Doesn't seem to really change an awful lot. Serves a, a very similar function, doesn't it? Okay. Well, the ideal situation is um, we never kind of need to worry about it, because like if we don't lose our tail. Although maybe we can um, kind of observe someone else doing it. Yeah, this guy's chasing us. That silver bean is chasing us now, and they're not giving up to go after the other the other person who's jumping around. Do not collide with me in that situation. My God, that's. Oh my god, oh my god. 
And uh, that's a uh, that's a round in which we kept the tail from start to finish. That's the kind of thing you love to see. And yeah, Tail Tag is one of those games that um, eliminates 50% of the field, rounding down even. Another jump showdown. Don't mind if I do. I seem to be on a bigger roll with this game than I am with uh, Hexagon. It's a shame, really, because uh, Hexagon does remain my favourite. Uh, there's one of those, um, one of those striped beans still left. Carrying on the memory of their fallen friends. And what, what are you doing? What? Okay. Like, I, I, I'm actually legitimately mad about that. I can't believe that worked. Like, it's going... It's going at two miles an hour. And then, like, I try to go... Like, you should easily be able to escape by going the same direction as the bar, right? Because, like, you can walk faster than that is going. But no, you're just just trapped on it for some reason. And it just happened to be on the exact tile that was falling down as well. I'm doing another one. Alright, we're starting off with a hit parade this time. Alright, we've got hammers on the um, on the slime ramp and whirly gigs instead of the spinning doors. And we have pendulums on the first section. Lots of little variations in this one. Okay, I'm, um... I'm dumb. Uh, falling there doesn't actually waste too much time. Oh, thanks for getting in my way, dude. And... <laughs> I will eventually regain control. After losing it through no fault of my own but because somebody else in front of me didn't know how to jump over those. But, you know, that's part of the game, isn't it? Oh, I'm heading back downwards down the slope because these people don't know how to get out, how to do this bit. Not the ideal opening round, but qualification is A. Yeah, you know what they call someone who f finishes 43rd out of 43 qualified? Route around two. Well, hopefully we should be um, a bit closer to the front of the pack on this one. Oh. Got one of the more interesting variations here. We've got seesaws. Replacing the spinning logs. Got a lot of axes at the end. The bridges look standard.
Okay. Why are you guys weighing this down? That's very impressive that that guy um, managed to get up there without needing... Oh, okay. It's actually not that difficult. <laughs> And say without needing to pull themselves up. Okay. Um. Okay, those definitely are not standard bridges, but am I in the lead? I think I am somehow. Yeah. Um. No idea how it happened, but <laughs> that's the gold medal. Fluffy hopping unicorn's pretty good. Powerful winning champ. Yeah, alright, dude. If you insist. You know, amazing boss tomato would be good if you used the tomato costume. As is... Nothing that great. Okay. Uh, another, I think it's a 10 person rock and roll, 10 person per team. And we once again have an outside track. Which is good. Because for all the, um, the memes about yellow team being the usual losers. I find on rock and roll it's usually the team in the middle, which is always the blue team. They're the ones that are more likely to go out than any others, which is usually because, well, being in the middle of the, uh, of the other two teams, you have people from the left and from the right coming to stop you to sabotage your ball. Whereas if you're, a you're the yellow team and like if you're if you're one of these people as the red team looking to sabotage another team, probably going to go to the closest one. I mean, you could go all the way over and try sabotaging yellow, but um, if like what happened. was that the yellow got their ball down first, which we did. Then, um, doesn't leave them much time to get over there. Whereas they have all the time in the world to go bother the blues. And members from our team have that time as well. Okay, tiptoe it is then. <laughs> Still not the biggest fan of this round. But 12 people are getting through. But we're among them. Alright. That's, um... Unexpectedly uh, straight shot to this point. was unlikely to be a straight shot from there. I'm getting pretty close. I thought there was a chance it was this one. There were three. That's why I didn't 
go all the way over into the big blob of people to the right. And... Like you could, you could tell it wasn't the one one over because the tiles ahead of us were shaking a bit, which indicates that they are fake. Okay, we've got another jump showdown. See how this one goes. First, let's see if anyone wants to patty cake. Probably shouldn't do that on the tile that's about to fall in the goop, though. Alright, just, uh... <laughs> and I'm not fated to, uh... Oh my god, every single one. It's just, it's, it's illegal to patty cake, apparently. <laughs> and that's where I would have been. It's pretty clear nobody wants uh, nobody wants to take us up on the offer. So um, take out our frustrations. <laughs> Not too much though, because um, don't want to annoy people and become public enemy number one on these on this platform. Give everyone a friendly salute, just to know that we want to. We want good, clean fun here. We don't. We're not out for trouble. Oh, well, I could. I could do some grabs. I do know. I do know how you're supposed to grab people to eliminate people on this round. I just um, usually prefer. You know, I usually prefer Jump Showdown to actually live up to its name and be a showdown of how good people are at jumping. Rather than just being a grab contest. Maybe that makes me a sucker? I don't know. It's a pretty good round. And both these other people really seem to know what they're doing. I think that was an attempted grab. Okay, we move away a bit. Okay, the problem one has gone, but some people leave their grabbing until there's only two people left. Due to the possibility of taking yourself out as well. So we cannot take anything for granted with this guy. We have to be prepared if they start looking at us shiftily. <laughs> And moving around a lot, which uh, they weren't doing so before. They are pretty good. I'll give them that. Right, there you go. Okay, think I've avenged last um, last jump showdown pretty well. And with that, I will put the cut in here.
and say thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.